What's going on everybody? Dave here with ProScapes Turf Care. I just wanted to make this quick video about um, uh, an issue I've been working on for the last year or so. Um, gotten pretty serious over the last couple weeks and months or so. Um, I've, I've noticed a few posts on the lawn care forums and groups and whatnot where people are missing equipment or having equipment stolen here lately so I wanted to go ahead and make this video to uh, show what I've been working on and see what I can do to help or what uh, we could all do for each other to help out is actually the, the better word uh, there. Um, so a few weeks back, about actually it's been a couple months, um, I was able to connect with Trekker. Um, it's a little Bluetooth enabled device that allows for tracking. Um, in my research, trying to find a device that's compatible both for all the individual equipment or truck and trailer or whatnot, um, it's hard to be able to find something that's cost effective all the way around. Um, either you're gonna suffer in cost for quality or quality for cost or um, options of the device or whatnot. So long story short, in, in, in my in my quest I was I was able to connect with Tracker and they they were uh, willing to listen to what I had to say as far as um, being able to help out uh, in our industry. You know we have a, a large industry uh, as far as the landscape and lawn care maintenance um, it's a multi-billion dollar year industry with tens of thousands of contractors, small business owners, whatnot, like ourselves. Um, and therefore, we have quite the reach. Um, the, the, the key advantage to the tracker device is its crowd features. In other words, um, the more people that have the app loaded on the phone, the better off the more chances we have of locating our equipment. So in other words, technically this is not really a GPS device. Um, it's a Bluetooth enabled device. Uh, please make note of that, it's very important. Uh, I don't wanna mislead on anybody. Um, being that it's a Bluetooth device, it does have some limitations. Um, however, I feel that it's a practical device um, at a somewhat reasonable price for tracking all of our equipment. I currently have a few devices in, in, uh, installed in the weed eaters, trimmers, and mowers on my, on my current trailer, as well as on the trailer um, that I've been testing for the last couple weeks now. And in my, in my findings, it's, it's been pretty good. Um, it, it does rely on the crowd feature if you are looking to track outside of your presence if you're not around the devices or equipment that you're trying to track. Um, so yeah, I I noticed probably in the last two or three days that I've seen several posts in the lawn care forums and the groups that you know people are having their, their stuff stolen and that's unfortunate because you know we work hard for what we got and we don't really need anybody else trying to take away or make it harder than it already is for us business owners because as a small business owner you know we we go the extra mile and we we it's not all bells and whistles I guess is what I'm trying to say um, there's good times and bad times um, for those guys that are you know just starting out and whatnot trying to uh, invest and build up their equipment and their and their staff and whatnot is, is is an investment. So for anybody to come in there and try to take it away is literally what they're doing. They're taking it away. Um, that, that's disheartening. So any extra option that we have to secure our devices and our equipment is, is the way to go. So my money is well spent trying to uh, keep it close to home as much as possible. So with that being said, um, I connected with Tracker Bravo, Tracker, and they were gracious enough to 
actually sent me some devices as well as some water resistant cases and over the last few weeks I've tested them and I've installed them in a few of my weed eaters and blowers and on the trailer and on the truck and tree, truck keys and um, anywhere that I think that I need that extra support. I even stash one in my wallet because I'm pretty notorious for leaving my wallet behind. So with that being said, um, like I said, they, they sent me a few devices um, that I've also that I've installed and I've also want to share a few. Uh, I reached out to Mario in the Lawn Dogs group and he's going to run a raffle with three or four devices. Um, I've got some communications out with a couple other groups and just waiting to hear back. If any of you guys are on listening to to this and you want to do some raffles and raffle a few of these off, just connect with me and I'll and I'll send you two or three or four, whatever we need to do to, to get them out there. Uh, Along with Tracker, they were gracious enough to create a promo code for us um, in the instance that you do want to try these and buy them. Um, if you buy, if you go online and purchase them via the website, they gave us a promo code of 15% off if you use the, the code TURFCARE. When you go through the checkout, you'll see a line uh, at the end of the checkout, put the TURFCARE code in there and you'll receive 15% off of your order there. Um, with that being said, I, I, I can do, I've done pretty extensive reviews and, and testing on my side of things. I'm not really gonna get into a whole lot of that into this video, but if you're interested or you wanna talk and reach out and connect, um, I'm happy to share with you what I found. Um, I, I, I have, Later on in the video, or a little in a minute, I'll show you the, the equipment that I have it installed in and show you how the app kind of works uh, briefly, and then uh, show you how the, every individual device, as well as some other devices that we have. I have a, uh, a fellow business owner, he's a roofer that owns an equipter, very high-end piece of equipment. We also have one of the devices installed on it, and we also have a dump trailer that I have it on. I'd rather be safe than sorry and knowing that I have a peace of mind with some additional tracking on all of our equipment, it, it really helps out. I actually had a wheat, or I'm sorry, an edger. Uh, a new guy start out in the beginning of the uh, springtime and he wasn't familiar with the, the quick green touch wraps, the quick latch green touch wraps and didn't secure my edger uh, securely into the rack and we drove down the road and didn't really notice it until we got to the next job that the edger was missing. So long story short, hour and a half later, after backtracking, covering our bases wherever, you know, where we went um, from point A to point B, we never found the edger, so I had to go out and purchase a new one. I feel that if I had one of these on here, I would have been able to retrieve that edger pretty quickly. Um, I will, I wanna to touch on the, and the significance of the crowdsourcing, it's very important, and the reason I'm reaching out to everybody is because the more people that have the app loaded on their phone and running, the more chances that we have of uh, locating our equipment. Uh, in my current area alone, there's like 1,700 people that have the tracker app running on their phones. Uh, that's a big deal, you know, and if we can push it through our community and the lawn care business and the landscape business throughout, throughout our industry, that's, that's even far more reach and it's a greater distance that we can you know, achieve if we have something ended up missing. Um, you don't necessarily have to have a device to load the app either, which is important. So if you guys want to support each other and and just load the app just in case, you never know, uh, and something ends up missing or something you know has gone out of sight, out of mind, and you have the app loaded, whoever owns that device will get a notification on its last known note on its last known location, uh, which is very important. And that's the way this works, um, and it's by crowdsourcing. So again, the more people that have the app, the better. The more people that have the app and devices, you know, even all, all that much better. Um, I've installed my devices out of sight, out of mind in most cases. Um, it's kind of hard on some of the devices because of you know, the, the weed eaters and edgers, they're, they're very confined on space and whatnot. But I was able to manage to hide a few of them. 
I'm gonna have to do a little modifications on some just to put them on there, but you get the you get the scenario that we're after and the, and the problem that we're chasing. So again, I'd like to share this with you. Um, I'll get these out, or I'll get in, keep in touch with the lawn care groups and I'll get some raffles going to give a couple of these away for you guys to try. I am on social media. I'm really just now getting involved in the YouTube world and Instagram and all that. So check us out at Proscapes Turf Care. Uh, you can find us using that throughout all the social platforms. I mainly stick to Facebook and Instagram, uh, but I love seeing all your pictures and your, and your photography skills and whatnot. So keep sharing uh, any questions, comments. I'm, I'm south of Atlanta, just outside of McDonough, Stockbridge area. If any of you guys are local, in fact, I, I read in the forum about a week ago that one of the locals here had some equipment stolen and I had this working at, the, at that time. I just wasn't ready to, to, to share because I wasn't done testing. Um, I don't think it still would have helped that situation, but if you're looking now and you want a device or two, I'm happy to help you out. I know you're in the, the works of replacing all your equipment, but nevertheless, um, just wanted to reach out to everybody and uh, see if we can push this thing along. Tracker.com um, is the Bluetooth device. Turf Care is the promo code. And I'll link all this stuff into the, the YouTube video as well. Um, any questions, just hit me up. Anything I can do to help out, um, I'm always available. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, so here's the current setup that I have right now that I am applying the Tracker devices too. Um, I actually have one that's on the trailer. It's located below the tongue there. Out of sight, out of mind. Strapped to uh, the existing trailer light wiring and trailer frame there. Along with uh, the edger and weed eater. Uh, I'm going to show you here inside the edger here. I'm sorry, the weed eater. This is a FS250R steel weed eater. And inside here, in the air box, is where I have a device, tracker device. Uh, have the similar one here. Uh, as I spoke earlier, this is the new edger I had to replace because of the one being lost. I have not yet found a suitable spot for the tracker device on here yet. There's, it's a pretty tight compartment inside the airbox. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of thinking on this one and might have to leave it on the outside exposed uh, for that matter. And then I have the hedge trimmers. I have two sets of hedge trimmers. One I have I'm working on putting a new carb on. And then these are kind of set up similar to the, the edger where it's a real tight compartment. So I got to work on something with those. And then I got two mowers. Uh, one's a 60 inch, one's a 52 inch. On the 60 inch, it actually has a seat that you can lift up. And in that seat is a, compart or a Velcro strap on the back. Just lift that up and I had cut a little spot in there in the foam and got a tracker tucked away in there. And on the smaller mower, the seat doesn't actually lift up like that one does, but there is one located. It's right, right there underneath that lip. And uh, the tracker devices come with two-sided 3M tape. Um, I went ahead and Gorilla glued that to the frame of that um, because I'm not sure about the two-sided tape with all the vibration of the equipment and the dirt and dust and whatnot so and then in the blowers blowers were pretty easy uh, these are the BR 600s so they're all pretty much the same I have pull this one off here real quick I'll show you I got one in the, in, in the air box in there as well Quite 
get that screw all the way in done. Hold on one second. I got one tucked away in there and it rides pretty good. I don't really see it hindering too much of the airflow. Like I said, I've been testing these for a good three or four weeks now and uh, haven't had a problem as of yet. And all three of these blowers are equipped with one. Um, and I already spoke of the truck. I also have this Equipter. Not sure how many people are familiar with the Equipter yet, but I have tag teamed with a, a roofing buddy of mine and we do a lot of business together. We share a lot of work between each other. Um, and in this case, he actually owns one of these equipters, which I use um, when it's available and not on a job to um, do some shrubbery work. That's, you know, that might be a little difficult to get to and whatnot. Um, this actually raises uh, and it, it extends out a good way. So it definitely comes in handy for both the roofer and the landscaper. Um, anyway, I got one located on there as well, which I can show you there. Got it kind of tucked away right there. Strapped to the hydraulic hoses, out of sight, out of mind. Um, and then I also have a dump trailer out back that it too also has one um, connected to it. And just real quick on a note, side note there, um, I'd like to, can't express enough that if you, have, if you have other local contractors that are small businesses like, like we are, you know, entrepreneurs or whatnot, network with them. I'd, I'd love to make another video just on that, that topic alone, but do all the networking you can with your locals because um, they share, lead, you guys share leads with each other. It just, it's a win-win for both of you. Um, but. So that's what I got. Uh, I feel pretty safe and secure knowing that, you know, if something ends up missing, gone, uh, as far as theft or, and, or, you know, maybe just left on a job or uh, misplaced somewhere that, or even, you know, for you guys that are, and I, and I, I hate to bring this up because I don't want to jinx anybody, but even for those rogue employees. And that's kind of why I keep my stuff hidden. The only person that knows about it um, on my crew is my son, which is one of my crew members, and he runs the, app, the tracker app on his phone while we're working. So if I'm not there or whatnot, and we're with other guys working, I know at all times, you know, that the tracker app's running and it's, it's, and it's in the vicinity of what we're doing or where we're at. And then I also have another truck and trailer, uh, with a, with another crew partner of mine and uh, we have uh, not yet equipped it but we will be working on uh, put installing all the devices on all that um, equipment as well so and that's a enclosed trailer with same same equipment pretty much again just knowing that there's security and the option to relocate a device if uh, if something ends up happening. So yeah. Any feedback? Any questions, comments um, regarding the tracker device or placement on your equipment or how I've been testing? You know, hit me up. You can hit me up on social media. I'm, all, I'm on all, all the platforms. I tend to stick to Instagram and Facebook mostly. Um, hit me up in the lawn care groups. Uh, like I said, we're going to be raffling these off. Uh, I already got a confirmation with Mario. So on the next raffle, I think we're going to be giving away a few of those devices and uh, reach out to a few of the other um, common lawn care groups out there to see if I can give away a few more devices. Um, help you guys out and get some feedback from you guys any questions let me know I'm uh, south of Atlanta Georgia if anybody's local to me I'm just outside McDonough in the Stockbridge area but we work all of the Henry County area so if you want to meet up and network just hit me up 
Alright guys, later.